Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, well, this is a well overdue video. I had planned on bringing all of my boots, or at least all of the new ones I had, and showing them to you so you guys can see the various styles and colours that are available from Dr. Martens. Um, but I decided against that. I didn't think I could carry loads of boots with me this time. So for those of you who haven't seen my previous Dr. Martin videos, they should be um, listed below, so check them out. Um, they're just full of like my personal tips and advice that I would give to people who are kind of new to Dr. Martin's or people who are already um, grounded quite deeply with Dr. Martin's. I'm not a spokesperson or anything, I'm not an expert or whatnot, I'm just a fan of Dr. Martin boots um, and I, I'm just a fan of their history and the rich culture that comes with people who like Dr. Martin boots. So what I've decided to do today is show you my newest pair which look like these. These are the Dr. Martin's Patent Black Darcy boots. These are mainly for women or anybody who feels the need to wear high heel boots. The heel is actually, surprisingly, looking at it, it looks quite high, but they're actually quite low, which is actually quite nice, they're incredibly comfortable. Um, but let me just give you guys a quick rundown of them and show you how I would style these with my everyday wear. First things first, make sure you've got nice thick socks on. Ignore me because these are quite thin. I'm quite used to wearing Dr. Martin boots so I can, I'm able to wear thin socks. But make sure you've got nice thick socks on. It's always best if you're wearing skinny jeans or any kind of jean um, that you want to tuck inside the boot to have the sock perhaps covering the actual trouser leg itself. So you kind of have that sort of effect just over around the edges. You can keep all the ruffling detail and sort that out after you've got the boot on um, and then you, that way you can slide your feet in without any problem whatsoever. So here are the boots. So I'm keeping my trousers on inside the boot because I prefer to wear skinnies or tights with these particular boots and they're quite good with most boots anyway. Ah, that's it. So it looks like that. Now I've so far worked out two ways in which I actually wear my boots. I can either wear them with the lacing detail going up to only four holes, or maybe five. So I'm just going to show you guys up to five holes, which look like this. You tighten it up, make sure it's nice and tight at the front because you need all the tightness at the front and you don't have to worry about tightening it too much at the top because in that way your foot will just sort of adjust to the actual boot itself. So do that. So make sure you've got some sort of a oval or a sort of V shape because that way you, you can hold your foot back in the boot so your toes don't actually have to rub um, against the actual front of the boot itself. So do something like that, do a bow, and then I always double bow mine because I'm slightly over the top and eccentric like that. So you can wear it like that. So if you wear it like this, you've got plenty of room, sorry I'll tuck that back in there, this is why you need long socks. <laughs> um, so you've got plenty of room to move around, so if I was bending, it wouldn't stretch the material too much and you won't get any of that horrible creasing effect which sometimes um, happens. Especially with um, these patent ones, you kind of want to keep them looking as cute as possible. So that's that one. So the other way that I also like to wear my boots, again with the same tactic, you have the V shape at the front. So you have that V shape, so as long as you've got the V shape to begin with, that's fine. But then this time you try and keep that V shape going up as far as possible as you can because then that way it can loosen itself and then your foot will basically just mould around the laces and whatnot. So it look like this. Nice oval shape which is what you're going after. It keeps your foot in because obviously when you're wearing heels your foot will automatically just slide forward. So with these laces you keep your foot back in the boot as far as you can Tighten it up so that when you do walk, your feet won't automatically just fly forward um, and give you any pain on your toes. So that's the important thing. Just do that. As you can see, there is, it's not a straight 
line there was a slight curve in the middle the reason for that is because that's where your foot naturally bends that's where your foot naturally creases which means that when you walk you will be able to move around in the boot without any problem um, but like I said just make sure you do it when ideally you should be putting them on when you're sitting down because then that way you can keep your heel at the back of the shoe tighten it at the front and then your foot won't slide down in the front so that's another style which looks like that don't worry about the tongue too much. Dr. Martin boots are famous for the tongues going absolutely anywhere. Just know that they have a mind of their own. <laughs> so that's basically what that style looks like. I usually go with this style if I'm wearing skinnies or um, a skirt with some tights. And then I usually wear them with vests or tops that are quite long that will cover my bottom. Um, going for the whole sort of nerdy grunge rock and roll sort of look when I have it like that. Otherwise it's just everyday wear like this and quite loose. So, yeah, that's them, being all loosey-goosey. The sun seems to have gone in. I am. Well, it's not gone in, it's just really, really cloudy and there's seagulls everywhere and I don't want to get pooped on, so I'm going to make this really quick. Um, I'm just going to show you the quick detail of the boot itself. Um, and hopefully coax you guys into buying some of them someday. <laughs> but I do love this boot. It's absolutely amazing. The first time I saw this boot, actually, I saw it over on... Um, well, actually, no. The first time I saw this boot on someone um, was when I was sort of browsing through the videos over on um, Vice Magazine's website where they have all the news and stuff. And it was the, there was a video series on producers, and I believe the producer that was uh, that was being sort of premiered or shown to the world was Jackawob. I'm not too sure. I'll have to go back and have a look. Um, but there he had a, a female vocalist on one of his tracks, and she was in this in the recording booth, and she was wearing. Um, a long sort of washed black vest um it, it came down to like just past her bottom um i think it was either batman or nirvana um and then she was wearing black skinnies with it she had one of these on um and then she had these darcy boots and as soon as i saw them on her feet i was like oh my god they look amazing it's amazing so um i knew for a fact that was just enough for me to go out ahead and just get my own pair really so I'm really really glad I found that video and I'm really chuffed I now actually have these boots and a very similar vest so I've just completely copied my style from her but hey it suits me so it's all good so this is the boot itself basically looks like that I think the heel um, is about two and a half inches or about two inches I haven't actually measured it myself um, and I didn't really go trolling the website to find out how high the heel was. I just wanted them. <laughs> um, and if you're quite new to high heel boots or high heel shoes in general, the, the best height that you should start out with are kitten heels or two inches or two and a half inch shoes. Um, once your foot is adjusted to that height, um, you're able to then go up another inch or go up another half inch and just sort of work your way up to a, a height that feels more comfortable for you. Um, but going from like a two and a half inch to two inch is absolutely perfect. The platform at the front, I would say is, a, is almost an inch, it's not quite an inch, I'd say it was a good seventh of an eighth of an inch um, at the front. So you get that little bit of extra height but you don't actually feel it because obviously you're only, you literally are standing on just two inches, two and a half inches. Um, but the extra height doesn't actually affect your heel um, or the bend in any way. So that's basically what the boot looks like. You've got the key trademark features of the Dr. Martin's boots. Like I said, these are Darcy boots. They don't have the yellow stitching because I think they were just going for more of a feminine look um, to appeal to their more feminine audiences who wanted something a bit more chic. Um, so you've got the airwear tag there. You've got the Dr. Martin's logo, which is there, which is basically the plus with the Dr. Martin's airwear going around the edge of it. See if you can see that and then also you've got it underneath the boot by the heel there you've also got the crosses actually in the sole of the boot as well so if you happen to be walking through snow or something you can say oh hey i've, I've been here in dr martin boots um <laughs> ignore the accent i've been listening to country music all morning um but yeah so you've got that um apart from that you've got the nice thick laces the very famous detail where the eyelets are and that's basically the iconic look of the Dr. Martin's boot being carried over into a more feminine kind of style. So I've got mine in the black patent. There are black smooth, which I believe um, 
are, I, th I think they're still at the original price. I got these on sale. These were £100 on sale. Um, and I think the normal price is about 120 I'm not too sure. But I'm going to hopefully order those ones and then add um, some sort of yellow stitching to the front of my boot when I get them. Because I do I do really, really like the yellow stitching on Dr. Martens. That's what just makes them iconic. I always look at people's boots and if they don't have the yellow stitching or the tag, I immediately just shun them. I'm like, ugh, you just want to be. Ugh. And then I just go about my way and people look at me like, okay, she just broke out of an asylum. But um, <laughs> that's basically it, really. Um, the detail of the boot itself, you can find lots of information over on their website. I will be going, hopefully, into a bit more detail about um, the other boots that I've also bought, including this one, um, over my blog. At some point, I'm so backlogged with so many posts that I need to update and like upload and publish and whatnot, and I just haven't got around to it. So bear with me. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, um, and hopefully that's enough information for you guys to go out and buy your own.